In this video, I'm going to answer the question, can I get in trouble for being in the car with a friend who has drugs or a THC vape or anything else that's illegal? Now, in this video, I'm going to provide you some general information. This is not legal advice. This is not specific legal advice for your case. If you need specific legal advice for your case, please contact our office for a complimentary defense strategy meeting. So a question that we see come up often is, can I get in trouble for something that is in a car that I'm riding around in, whether that's you know, some marijuana, whether that's um, some THC wax or THC oil, or some sort of a vape with something illegal in it, or any other types of drugs or illegal substances that can be found easily in a vehicle. Um, and the answer is kind of a little bit more detailed than just, can I get in trouble for it? So under the law, you have something called you know, actual possession and you have something called constructive possession. And so actual possession means like I'm actually, I've actually got the item. You know, if I've got actual possession of this sheet of paper, I'm, I'm actually holding on to this sheet of paper. Yeah, the constructive possession means basically that the item is in my area, I'm kind of in control of it, I have the intention to be in control of it and possess it um, at some point in, in the future, I'm aware that it's there, that kind of thing. And so that's when we deal with constructive possession. Now, one of the areas that we run into is what's called joint constructive possession, is that if there's something that is in an area with multiple people, multiple people can potentially constructively possess the item. And that's what we see come up a lot of times in vehicle stops when there's drugs or alcohol found and if, if people are under 21 or anything else that's not legal for the people in the car is this concept of joint constructive possession. Because if it's not found on somebody's person in somebody's pocket, the police can consider whether they think that it's, it's being possessed by multiple people. And, and that can lead to a charging. Now, obviously there is a higher standard to convict somebody than there is just to charge them, but you, know, you don't wanna get charged in the first place to begin with. So we've seen cases where you know, there are multiple people in a car and one of them claims it and says, you know, those things are mine and the officer still charges everybody in the car. We've seen cases where, you know, in where multiple people are in a car, nobody claims anything and the officer charges everybody or even charges one person if they have reason to think that it belongs to one person. Even had a case one time where three people were in a car and got stopped and, and one of the people, the person who the item actually belonged to, said to his two, quote, friends, uh, hey, you know, I've got a scholarship, like this is gonna be a big deal for me, why don't we just say it's all of ours and things are gonna be less serious for all of us than if, if one of us says it. And the two friends say, sure, that, that makes sense, we'll help you out if we can. And the officer takes them each out of the car one by one and asks them and takes the first friend um, out and you know, asks her and she says, yeah, it was all of ours, um, blah, blah, blah. Takes the second friend out and she says, yeah, it was all of ours. Takes the third, third guy out and he says, I had no idea that was in the car. What, what are they talking about? And you know who ended up getting charged in that situation? It was the two people who were trying to help the friend out who didn't actually uh, possess and didn't even know that the illegal substance was in the car. So, you know, again, don't want to risk being charged with that. The best plan is to stay out of vehicles where there's drugs, um, where there's anything illegal in the car. It minimizes your risk of getting in trouble. Uh, it minimizes your risk of getting arrested. You know, maybe something that can be, you know, uh, won at trial or down the road in court, but you don't even want to have to deal with that. So just stay away from, you know, riding around in the car with anybody who's got anything illegal. Don't ride around in the car with anything illegal of your own and minimize your chances of getting arrested. If you did get arrested or you got cited or you got charged in some way with the drugs, with THC, with anything else illegal, please contact our office for a complimentary defense strategy meeting to learn how we can help and see if we can help with your situation. Thank you.